Hi everyone, my name is Hidayat, uh, also better known by my in-game name, Toasted Bread. I am an amateur shoutcaster based in Singapore. I have shoutcasted for about a year, currently involved with a Singaporean esports team, uh, Red Sevens Esports, where I am their default caster. So I have casted multiple custom rooms, uh, screams and tournaments with them. Uh, links will be provided in the form of course. Uh, other organizations that I have worked with is Painballers World, where I have casted uh, games such as Mobile Legends and Call of Duty Mobiles for them. Uh, lastly, I just concluded recently. I just concluded casting a couple of charity tournaments uh, for Home Team Esports. Again, all these links will be provided uh, in the forms. So uh, my passion for shout casting actually started from a football commentary, and it naturally transitions to esports uh, as I as I grow up. So I have joined a couple of workshops uh, focused on shoutcasting and esports in general uh, right here in Singapore and have been putting them into practice in, in my casting gigs and I have received uh, fairly good feedback on, on, my, on my cast so I also watch other streamers to pick up tips on how I can improve myself uh, whether it be pitching, uh, how to keep crowd entertained and all that so I, I believe uh, shoutcasters provide their value uh, through this uh, because they control the narrative, provide the game's energy, pace uh, because people who've, who've actually watched the game without sh shoutcasters I believe it's quite common to, to, to feel bored so so this is where I believe shoutcasters can, can provide value to the games lah. Uh, and I hope that this is something I can provide and, and I can showcase to you in the next following clips since game number 1 between RRQ and Onik Esports in Season 5 of MPL, Onik Esports quite the aggressive early game, rotating up top trying to secure the turtle, opening up the map, the turtle gets stolen by Sin, by the Granger, the last bullet from the Death Sonata secures the turtle for Team RRQ, Team RRQ trying to push on their lead, Leomont gets the kill onto Carry. Cho Cho very low, tries to dodge back, gets away safely but does not, cannot say the same for the jaw hit. Being chased by the Sylvana, Uranus. Uranus is trying to get that last hit onto the Leomod. Leomod just manages to run away from the fight thanks to backup in the form of Granger and Valor. So they're just going to continue pushing on to this uh, invasion of uh, Team Onyx blue buff and secures the blue buff uh, Granger now has the blue buff on to him so very well well played by the Granger making sure that he times his death sonata on time just to get that last hit onto the turtle and really well played by the, the Leo mod for getting both kills uh, diving to both turrets uh, knowing that he has the mobility to actually dive onto both turrets and managing to actually <laughs> get out of there quickly it is Season 5 Grand Finals of MPL between RRQ and EVOS Legend. The Lord, the Lord is bearing down on a main inhibitor, being blocked by the Ice Wall, thrown by Grog. EVOS, EVOS has lost a cylinder. They are now in a 4v5 situation. Does not look good for EVOS. EVOS is not being allowed near the Lord. Even beautiful throw there by Joy. It's 5v3. Kimi, Kimi shredding to the EVOS' front line. Grog is going down. Grog is going down. EVOS has lost 3. Kimi with that triple kill. And the Maniac, RRQ have done it. RRQ are your winners of Season 5 MPL. Well done team RRQ